call it, uh, with um, regards to the exhibition um, where we're considered sponsors. So we'll, that's going to be the bulk of our meeting today. And okay. then uh, Elaine wants to review some items that are ready for submission to go to the council so that we can take one more last look at them. And if it all looks good, we're going to dump a bunch of new stuff on them. So, <laughs> uh, so that's what we'll do. Uh, I will uh, do my best as chair to give everyone a chance to talk, including myself. And um, also will sometimes Monica and Elaine, because you're council members, I might be picking somebody else over you on your raise your hand because That's fine. Sure That's that, fine. The, that the membership that my goal is that membership has a, has a say here yeah. at the meetings. So uh so anyway, that's my my uh, thing. I've uh, lost Elaine. everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somehow I've lost every all the other parts of this. So <laughs> Okay, I'm going to share my screen and just go through the minutes from the last council meeting so you can see. Oh, kind there of we go. Date. Um, I'm just going to share my desktop because we'll be doing this. Okay. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's very small because I'm on my mobile. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I'm not in Vienna, so that's why uh, I'm here on my mobile. Anyway, oh. but I, I'm sure you will talk a little bit about it also. Yes, yes, yes. sure. Okay, great. Yes. So where are you? I am uh, in Lower Austria. It's uh, maybe 120 kilometers west from Vienna in a smaller town, in my hometown. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Good. Yeah. So um, just nice weather. And so I, I decided to go there because it's uh, to really summer day. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So um, the first thing that we really discussed was uh, that we at our last meeting, we, we quickly put together something as a suggestion for um, figuring out how we could be sure that elected council members had support of their country or region. And we put it together very quickly. And um, this was kind of the outcome. He, um, well, you can see here, his, this was Torbjorn's idea and it ended up getting full support. So if there are two or more members from the dates, let's say, there will be a preliminary vote in that country or region to determine how those candidates rank from that region. If there's only one candidate, then they run unopposed and there's no need for that, either regionally or internationally. Then for an international vote, the rankings of those nominees uh, will be published so that the general membership knows who is favored in, in that specific country. Mm. Um, it was uh, agreed, that, as it says here, the membership can vote however they wish based on the quality of the materials presented, but at least we will have an idea as to whether or not that person is um, supported in the country. And um, there was discussion about that. Uh, Stephanie wanted to have just regional members elect their own representatives, but I gave the illustration of a region with only 40 members, which happens to be France. And then we only get 20 to 30% of the vote, meaning that somebody could be elected with only 12 people in an entire country. So I supported uh, Torbjorn's proposal. And um, you can see that um, we talked about whether or not the, the uh, regional election should be published, but we decided that it should be. Um, what would you do if you didn't publish it? You would still just have the three candidates uh -huh. from region, and it would be up to everybody to do the research. But ranking them would um, give us an idea as to who is who is supported. 
Otherwise, you might have someone, let's say it's France, and you might have someone who has three votes, right. and somebody else who has eight. So um, then you would know that maybe there's there's a, an issue. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, so that was approved. We, we voted to support that. And then I asked again about the possibility of including videos, because in a past one, there wasn't, but this is going to be done, it's my understanding. Um, and, and this was done with the caveat that it just be in place until the 2024 General Assembly and then further revisions may be made after we test this system. This is, uh, this is in internal rules. So those items in internal rules can be changed by the council they don't need to go to the General Assembly. So it's not like it's um, etched in concrete that we have to abide by this forever or or go through the lengthy process of changing an article. So uh, that's what we're trying for this upcoming election. Uh, But that call is, is just out now for the regions of Korea, Japan, Africa, and Oceania. Mm. And mm-hmm. uh, Oceania, it has to be, the membership has to get the the list of candidates. I think it's three months. Is that right? So I mean, it's a it's a process. Um, and then Janet will be able to stay stepped in in the absence of um, uh, Wendy Gers. So then um, this is about the di- the guidelines. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and organ- oh, this is this is like what we just went through with JCU's approval. Mm-hmm. And um, um, because they they published our name without having our approval. And um, internal rule five and six deal with that. And that's second, uh, five, or let's see, six A and B or something. I don't know. Uh, deal with that. And that's next on our agenda, right, Anna? Yes. Yeah. And so I, have, be- uh, I have that website when we're ready to share yeah. that lists who the sponsors are and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened in this issue um, ultimately was that Ben sent out, and I have that document, which I can share when we get into that topic. But this is some of the discussion that went on. Um, So um, SG, who's SG? Shamai. Shamai. Oh, Shamai. Shamai. Oh, Shamai Gibb. Yeah, Shamai Mm -hmm. Gibb. He didn't understand why we should support organizations that are not not members and not actively doing anything. Um, and you can see that Torbjorn said that anybody promoting ceramic arts are contributing. I could not see where this um, exhibition committee or this actual exhibition, which is a recurring issue, is uh, is a member, but JCU is. And I'm not sure exactly what their role is in it, except that a lot of people from JCU are involved. Um, and um, there you can see Monica's comments and we'll, uh, we'll welcome those later when we have that discussion. Um, anyway, there's, there's what the discussion was. Yeah, so that's gonna be the bulk of our conversation today. Is, yeah. uh, I'm gonna show you what they did and, and then we're going to have some conversation about what should the process be? You know, who should we offer sponsors for? Who yeah. you know, shouldn't we? And how, what should the process be? So we'll have plenty of time to talk about that in just a little while. Then we talked a lot about potential uh, fundraising. Um, I made the suggestion after we talked at our last meeting, and maybe it was when Anna and I talked. You're coming in, in now, between, a little Elaine. But that we just have a calendar. Pardon? 
You've been coming in kind of your your sound, your voice is coming in and out a little oh, bit. So oh, you know. sorry. Um anyway, we talked about uh several fundraising suggestions. And as I said, Anna and I talked about how people like the Bray and other people um automatically put out a call for donations every year. Um, it was stated to, to my saying that that um, our membership, when we when we pay our membership, there's an opportunity there to add to it. But a separate plea would probably gain further support. So there was discussion. Um, again, Shammai said he opposed asking directly for contributions, uh, preferring that people be asked to purchase works. And uh, Shammai and a couple yes, of other people have already taken it upon themselves to start putting together something for uh, a donations of, of uh, works that would be then sold online. And all of that will come up later. It was just I think most of us voted for it for on the online. Um, mm -hmm. And and the people, if people donate work, they might have expectations of getting something back. And and it could be that we um, many many uh, nonprofits offer the the artist. 40 or 50 percent or a choice of a percent that you want to get back. So that could help our artists as well and potentially increase those uh, the opportunity for those to be be donated. But uh, Shamai um, and and, and I, Monica, do you remember who's working with him on that exhibition? I mean, um, on that donation of Oriol and Hannah, Hannah Novotna. Okay, very good. Thank you. And they have also they uh, sent a proposal, and mm -hmm. it looks interesting. So I think we yeah. all said yes to it. So because something has to happen. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we're still owed the forty thousand from China, and uh, we're hoping that that comes through. We can't, it keeps getting promised, but so far it hasn't. Um, who okay, is this in China? I'm sorry, Elaine, who is it in China that's willing to donate $40,000? Well, this is, this is money that has been promised for a couple of different, couple of years. Mm -hmm. And, oh, and here you. it's saying, DJ asked, he, and T, and Torbjorn said it's a nonprofit museum in Beijing, and they would prefer to maintain a low profile. Huh. They don't ask for anything in return. Wow. They support the IAC. So, yeah, and uh, <laughs> because because Torbjorn uh, 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 is always not answering hundred um, percent in in the depth. So um, David asked again. So why are they offering so much money for nothing when they yeah. want to have or keep a low profile? And wh <laughs> why don't they give the money? So it's still on the budget, but it's not. it has not arrived until today, as I know. Yeah. So uh, we talked about grant writing. And Ben is a, an experienced grant writer, <clears throat> but it was agreed that... Um, uh, it, he, he would have to be hired separately, not as an employee. He would rather do it separately as a grant writer. And he did not um, approve of people getting paid only if the grants are successful. That doesn't work. And I think, I don't think it's even legal in America to take money out of it for paying a grant writer. Um, so that's still up in the air. And that's a slow process too. You it know, is. sometimes yeah. you have to apply two or three times before you get that money. So, you know, well, just, you yeah. Know. And, and money for operations is few Hard. and far between. Yeah. So it would have to be project oriented project, yeah, and likely, yeah. which doesn't really help the financial no. bottom line. No. 
um, there was discussion about having an annual publication that they could do on on uh, print on demand that would feature hmm. uh, our members. And um, it was it was only like some members one year and then different members the next year. And we have so many that uh, that really didn't didn't go anywhere. I don't think there's money in that, tell you the truth. Yeah. Well, I think there's, uh, it would depend on whether we could get volunteer voluntary services to put it together. Um, because Shamai has done it with his book. He has already sold 800 copies of his book on Amazon. And it's a print on demand book. Uh, so he's getting, and he gets, it's either 12 or 14%, which is double or triple what you get if you go through a publisher. So there's that kind of, of um, talk. Monica? Um, it, it just a, a short uh, critical comment. I think I'm traveling with the books and the magazine from New Ceramics a lot. And I'm, uh, I see that the people are interested in like a book from Shamai with his work and the technical aspect and the problems and the solving yeah. of those problems is very interesting. Therefore he's selling. But if they are only artists, I doubt that uh, it is really printed and paid for. So I'm sorry. So I yeah. think it's, it's, a, it's a dead baby. I, I agree with you, Monica. That's why I asked that. That's why mm -hmm. I brought up the comment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, the, uh, well, I, I, was this before they decided to go digital, Monica? I think it was. Anyway, uh, uh, Shamai is going to convene a meeting about that and, um, and see who's interested in mid-September. And then we discussed the dates and times of the council meeting in September, and uh, we decided that would be the 11th to the 13th. But now times have been decided and it is all virtual. We are not yeah. getting together any any of us in yeah. uh yeah. So yeah. And, uh, Elaine, Elaine, oh I'm sorry. Uh, I have I have to say that I have to cancel the eleventh because as you may know, uh, Gustav Weiss, the uh, founder of New Ceramics and the Ceramic mm. magazine, has died with hundred and one year. So oh. uh, so oh, his nomination wow. for an uh, honorable men, uh, member is also too late now. He is, uh, and his oh. funeral is on the 11th of mm. September. So I really, I'm in Berlin and I cannot attend a meeting on 11th. So I will uh, tell mm. that to the office. Maybe they can change to the, from 12th to 13th or whatever. Or I can yeah. only be part of with my mobile. So it's stupid. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. that's sad. But that's news. very important. The band has to go there and me too. And this is really, um, it's a duty for us to go there. Yeah, course. sure. I, uh, just so everybody knows, we had um, asked Linda Lighton had come up with money from her exchange to send Elaine to the conference, to the council meeting rather, because we felt that for Elaine to be here in the US on zoom and everybody else be together or a good number of people be together that the dynamics would make for her to be in a weakened position when it came to time for her to express her opinions so uh, we did have some funding that'll get worked out it was very generous of uh, uh linda but um just so everybody i just want everybody to know that that that's yeah. yeah yeah i uh, linda and i haven't talked about how public that is but now oh, it well, is. I figured with this com this commission, yeah, that we yeah, here that yeah. Didn't... No, that's good. That's okay. good. She is such a generous soul. Um, I'm and sorry. Then, who is who is this? Linda Lighton. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, and then the only other thing is that there is an IAC um, exhibition at the Indian Ceramics Triennale, so. I'm going to be going to that and doing a talk and I'm going to hand carry Anna's and Linda's um, work. You have, to, you have to hand deliver. So you either have to be has a to be thing or somebody has to bring it. Sure, yeah. Bonnie's going too. And I think she's willing to take some work too if needed. So, yeah. So that's it. All right. So do you, um, 
can I share my screen? Oh, I'm disabled. Can you oh, make let me, me uh, wait a minute? Yeah. Let me because I'd me, like me. to um I'd like to run through the kind of the the it's the kind of and I don't know if it's a whole website, but it's a link that has to do with um here we go. Uh, so I wanted everybody to see because the poster, which has been widely publicized, is almost impossible to read, as you could see here. <laughs> It's like yeah. Even, yeah. I even tried blowing it up, like you know, when you put your fingers and you enlarge it, but it's, mm -hmm. it's everything got fuzzy when I did it. But I had somebody app uh, put this up on uh, WeChat, so I was able to get it. And, and you know, it talks about Jing to Jen and ceramics, etc. That's not the part that's uh, important to us, but I wanted everyone to see who the sponsors are and who the players are by showing you nice. this. So, so right now, the sponsors, of course, is the city of Jingdejian. This is very typical where the city and the school and whatever else uh, work together. Um, so uh, so JCU is a member, as Elaine has said, but none of these other, like the China Arts and Entertainment or the Jingdejian Municipal Government, they're not um, part of the, they're not part of the IAC. Now, I love this TEDing guidance counselors. I don't know about those of you in other countries, but in the public school system here, we have people that are called guidance counselors that help children that have problems or need advice or whatever. So I had to giggle when I saw this, the use of guidance counselors here. Yeah. Obviously, they're advisors of some kind. It's the China ceramic in industry, Jiangxi province. Uh, literary circles, I have an art circles of Jiangxi Prop. So these are all like <laughs> artist organizations that are also part of this. Then we move on. As you can see, this, this goes on for a bit. This Academic is this is so typical of the Chinese. Everybody I know, wants telling me I've been there 15, I've been there 15 times. It is, it's very, very yeah. typical, exactly right. So here are the advisors, you know, and of course, um, most of them are Chinese organizations. I did notice that Sugar Rocky was one of the advisors. Alfred's Art Museum. I want to make it clear, this is not Alfred University. Wayne is in charge of Alfred's Museum. Yeah, we have He's that. He's not in charge of Alfred and the school, because I can tell you, I personally know and have worked with the woman who's the dean there now, and it's a totally separate entity. But just so you know, this has to do with Wayne and it's Alfred University Art Museum. Um, and then, have, you know, they have the school in Limoges and Staffordshire. So they manage and here and seek it is still listed, Elaine. I know. I just noticed that. And I'm going to email Josh. OK. Because he well, had I, requested in no uncertain terms that they. This was this is like very recently. They move it. This is like the last day, a couple of days that we chat. Yeah. So this is not old that I dug up to show you all. This is what they're sending out now mm -hmm. to get people, as you could see here on top, there's only five days left. So that mm -hmm. this was on, on there a couple of days ago. So they need to know that Ensika, again, did not get permission. Now, this happened two years ago, right? And we didn't know anything. We kind of hit blindsided by it. And then it came back up and all of the discussion we had and all the anger we had about felt being included as sponsors was totally disregarded. And this just came out basically the same as before with a, with a bit of a difference, which I'll show in a minute. Um, organizing committee, uh, these are, you know, secretaries of this typical Chinese, as you said, Lee, you know, who's the secretary of this committee and the secretary of that committee. And of course, our illustrious president of the International Academy of Ceramics. So he's part of, of that, Elaine. Um the first time they did this, they did go through the proper channels. It's my understanding that they did go through the procedure that is outlined in the internal rules. Okay. All right. That's good to so know. It was this year that they didn't okay. anyway. So we need to for, enforce what well, I think the thinking is here is to enforce those rules and make them much clearer and mm -hmm. have some hoops that people have to go through before we let them uh, use our use our name in vain, as they say in the Bible, mm -hmm. I think. Um, so then deputy director, and you'll notice that Jacques is here. Uh, it doesn't say Jacques, IAC just mentioned Jacques. Um, the chief curators president and uh, Lu Pinchang. Uh, misspelled. 
Miss, I know it's like, so is that the same one, you know, but uh, he's the president of JCU, but I understand that he's stepping down as president of JCU at, at a certain point here. Uh, and then Zhao Lin Tao, who's Korean, is it? I think he's Korean. Anyway, and then. Um, I think he's, it's either, I don't know, that's not a Korean name. No, maybe, it's maybe not. Maybe Taiwanese. Oh, that's that's possible too. So, and then there's some people I I don't know who they are. They're probably museum people that are curators. Oh, there's uh, Jing Jing. Here, Jing Jing is in the middle. Oh, not there. Oh, well, yeah. The next next. So, yeah, coming up. So yeah, I was going to, I was going to uh, point out that um, <laughs> Jing Jing is that I I the my experiences with Jing Jing in the past have been really negative. So, um, but she's involved, and of course, she's one of the deans at JCU. Uh, she is an IAC member. Uh, and then this, this other committee, where you'll notice that Wayne is part of this committee. And here are the directors again. And then I found this interesting. So, by Ming from uh, Tsinghua, um, Linda Sakura from Alfred. Uh, who else? There were a couple of Jackson Lees in there, Jacques. Um, Soji Mitsuo, they have him as Japanese, but he, he's lived in Australia forever. Pete Pinnell from, mm -hmm. from US, um, Lubin from Nanjing, uh, Walter Ostrom from Canada, Linda Ganstrom Bruce, from the Bruce. USA. So they've roped in lots of people from lots of different countries to be quote unquote members. Now, as to what these members actually do, I have no idea. Like, I don't know who the jurors are. Or that is this the group that's the jurors? It's not real clear. And then, of course, the rest is just like what you can enter, uh, and then the timeline and what the submissions are, etc. So, um, how, and how so all the rest of this is just like how, how to do it. But you can see that there are a number of IAC dignitaries that are included in this that um, obviously did not speak up. And one has mm -hmm. to wonder too about what whether there is some remuneration for them, uh, and if they're IAC, representing the IAC, that I, ideally there should not be any personal remuneration. And um, one of the things that um, Elaine and I kind of bounced around, and we're thinking that if somebody wants to be, and I think this conversation has been with the with the uh, council, that uh, if someone wants to use our logo and use our name and make us sponsors that they would actually donate something or give something to the organization uh, in exchange for that so uh, since we are need, in need of money that seems to be one way to make some make a, you know and it, I don't think it has to be a lot but just like the token idea of it so those are those are some of the things now I'll get out Elaine so you can unless anybody have any questions about what I just showed you Stop share that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to share. I'll get out of my minutes here. And um, first, I'm going to show you the articles or, or the the internal rules that are um, that address this issue. It's, it's way back in the rules. And I couldn't get this document to stay on the rules. So excuse my dizzying. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, Close here your we eyes. go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I can get both of these up here. Um, so members who want to use the IAC logo to show their affiliation with IAC and their activities, personal website, individual and collective exhibitions can receive a dated IAC logo from the IAC office. So we as members can put that up on our websites if we want to. Um, then this second part is what deals with what we're talking about today. Non-member organizations seeking IAC sponsorship require written approval to use the IAC logo. logo. Approvals are awarded by the executive committee on a one-time use only basis, an administrative fee of, of uh, Swiss francs, 500 Swiss francs is to be paid by the applicant 
prior to use, but under special circumstances, it may be reduced or waived by executive committee approval. Um, I, um, I'm reading this just because I don't know if uh, Krista can, can read it on her small screen. Monica? Um, I have two things to say. I was writing um, directly to uh, Tobian, to the president, because I said, okay, when this organization is a GCU with this um, 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 Chinese uh, event, if they are members, they don't have to pay. This is clear. The article say it like that. But uh, second, I cannot understand when someone as a president of the academy is involved in such a process as director and juror and curator, and uh, how 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 it, can it be that he is not talking about that and warning them? Just ask for um, the logo and follow the rules. So he was there, he was invited, and he cannot step out of this um, responsibility. But he never answered. And then the question came, and I said, yes, I said it before. I, I will say, yes, they can use the logo, because privately and as a council member and also as vice president, I'm thankful for the use of the logo. Wherever a good organization is doing an event or an exhibition or something like that uh, in in Jingdesen right now, I will not critic uh, critical block the use of the logo, but um, in that situation it was a fault of the president and uh, Kaufman. I will not uh, comment. And Wayne Higby, I do not know. He's on a on a on another level there, but I cannot understand that. And then uh, Tobin asked the executives to vote on it, and I told him we had a motion to Elaine. I I copy and paste your absorption. <laughs> we had a motion to absorb the role of the executives and put everything to the council as a uh, as one organ, and no answer. So um, he's he's crazy. Why is he doing that? Oh, but, yeah. No, but Monica, that's exactly what you're saying now. I think we, what well, I see, I see two things happening here, two different things happening. One is use of logo, and this seems yeah. to cover the use of logo. We need to have a whole nother section when it's a sponsorship and it involves council members. Yes. Yes. A whole yes. nother rule, whatever, we, wherever we feel it best fits. I'm that I'm not sure of, and you two probably have a better idea. But uh, I also know, I mean, are, who's making money on this? Obviously not the IAC. We're not making money. But Tornbjorn is, is working in Taoshishwan. He's got a residency in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure he's not paying for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you know, that's been hap that kind of thing has been happening as long as I've been involved with the IAC. Tony yeah. Franks was brought in to talk. You know, it, it gives the Chinese some uh, clout to have IAC there. Um, so I'm. Th there's such a fine line there, you know. Well, I, I think we need to make the line though, so that yeah, that we yeah. say this is okay. You know, you you've cleared it with the council. The majority voted. It's okay for us to be called sponsors. It's okay mm -hmm. for people in the you know the the council to um, to to be, have an active role. But once it starts to go beyond that and it involves funds and salaries and payments, because the Chinese don't, they don't let you do anything unless they pay for it. They pay for everything. I mean, I had issues with our office. Of, yeah, and I'm know, sure. Controversial yeah. things because I was getting paid like $100 to do some tenure and promotion evaluation for Tsinghua University. I mean, it was, they just don't, you know, it, mm -hmm. which I would have done for free, but they insist, you know, that. So we know that there's yeah. some sort of something going on here that's beyond just using a logo, but we don't have anything in our rules about sponsorship. Mm. No, and and, and I don't. I I've never seen this document that it refers to at the bottom. Use of IAC name at international events. Refer to that document. I've never seen that document, so I, I can look for it. Yeah, or ask um, somebody in the office but, if they could find it for you, Elaine. Is it something they keep on file somewhere? Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. 
So then we received this letter from um oh yeah <laughs> Jao Lanto. My thing always does this. I have no idea how to get rid of it. Um so this was not on any letter head. Mm. It's not signed, but um it says uh, executive curator of the International Art Biennale. Due to a working error, I would like to apologize for including IAC as an academic advisor, which is now off, I believe, in our 2023 exhibition announcement without sending out our letter of request, and we did in 2021 when we got your support. The 2021 Biennale Bien achieved a complete success with the academic support of IAC and other national and international institutions, um, globally based, blah, blah, blah. Um, we're still growing, and we know that IAC's mission is also dedicated to bringing the world's clay art and artists together. Therefore, we think we have a shared and mutual interest. We would therefore, again, like to sincerely invite again IAC as an academic advisor for 2023 and sincerely hope to continue to gain NSICA's support. NSICA's support. <laughs> <laughs> I think that meant was supposed to be IAC. I see. Even in the future, we sincerely hope to continue to stay in close communication, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, JCU is one of the institution members. We're asking for your permit to allow us to continually, continually use IAC logo for um, that website and advertising without repeating works of recollecting. See, I don't think we can do that. I don't I, think we, we should do that. That's tell you like truth. carte blanche to yeah. say, sure, use it anytime you want to. No, I so, think that's dangerous, honestly. I did look up Jao Lanto because I couldn't remember. I had mistaken him for somebody else that I met while I was at Jim, oh. Jim uh, University. He is, is a professor there. So he could have easily done this on a on a uh, JCU uh, stationery. I just, I don't, yeah. I don't really understand why he. Why he know. did. Yeah. 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 Monica, you had a comment? Question? Yeah. Uh, I, I think the, the situation is that this letter came without a signature and without a, a complete uh, stamp from a Chinese organization, whatever. And I have never got a paper, an official paper <laughs> from China like that or from Korea I, or Japan. I, I know, because there's usually that red stamp, you know, the circle, and then there's always stationary. And, very, and very I'm important. like, same with you. I agree. That I think that's what threw us all off quite a bit was that, um, and, and he is a professor there. So he, he has, you know, he has access to JCU stationary. So here's here was, Ben just sent this out in an email and I just copied it into a Word document for you, this meeting. Um, but this is the history then of what supposedly happened. Once they were informed that they were using the IAC name without having followed proper protocol, we informed the organizers was not pre-approved and requested they immediately submit the required form supporting documents to the executive committee to formally apply to do so. As a reminder, the organization was granted IAC support for the previous event and it was apparently not clear to them that they needed to apply for each edition. Uh, his letter, which was sent to the council, arrived while they were gathering the necessary documents to apply per IAC protocol. The application was submitted to the executive committee on July 13th with a short deadline of July 19th. It was approved by the executive committee um, with is, four votes in favor and one abstention. Yeah, the abstention is from me because I said we cannot do that. We have a motion. The council has to do these decisions. Whatever the theme or the headline is, it has to go to the council. The executives are done until next year. So it's, yeah. I'm so angry about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and and um then it was not presented and and Ben apologized at our last meeting and Ben apologized for that he didn't realize it was supposed to be on the agenda um yeah in response to other questions yes it's normal that the IC be listed as a sponsor when we allow 
Van. See, I don't think that's right, the sponsor and the organization. I think we need to separate the two. And to have use our, our logo, this doesn't imply. Uh -huh. well, the, oh, yeah, the, 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 you froze the up. word sponsor, I mean, the word, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, it just happens yeah. once can in you a while, me? just so you know. Yeah. Okay. The um, the word sponsor is is an ambiguous term in that it it some people say it doesn't it implies financial support, but we ask for sponsors for uh, letters of nomination to become members, mm -hmm. and two sponsors. So it doesn't necessarily, as Ben says, it doesn't necessarily imply financial support. Um, and there is one instance where the phrase suggests that we are holding the event, that we are, um, yeah. So apparently we have not enforced the fee. Um, so then that's that's an action item so that the, the council will determine whether that needs to be, you know, and and I have I have to look at this like. Um, the uh, Indian ceramics Triennale asked for request, re requested the use of the logo, but that was it, just the logo, to my understanding. Um, so I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I, I, I kind of And I don't think that, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Lee. Go. I was just gonna say I don't think that the Indian Triennale could afford the 500 Swiss francs. So sorry. go ahead, Lee. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, I know some of the people who started this Triennale and I, I like them. Um they're they're pretty good artists and whatnot, but trying to tie in IAC to it just doesn't seem fair in a way because yeah, they're members, um, but we haven't done anything with them, and and they're just looking for credibility. That's that's really all they're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and and somehow or other, it just doesn't. I don't know. I just don't see it as being necessarily the right thing to do. Um, it, we, not that we should get a benefit, but we don't get a benefit. Uh, you know, they use us, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I've said it. I think um, in answer to that, I think that having our name out there on a legitimate event is fine, you know, like they are having an IAC exhibition, giving our members a benefit of, of the possibility of exhibiting there. Um, and it doesn't hurt to have our name out there. So there is that minor, very minor benefit, but... Mm -hmm. um, but I, I see what you're saying. They they do they get more from the prestige. Right, right. And and putting an IAC uh exhibition mixed in it does add some value and and uh, benefit to us, but then they require that you hand deliver the work. So the only people who are really gonna be bringing it in for the most part, except for what you're doing, are IAC members in India who are also the sponsors of the thing. So it's kind of a little incestuous, I think. Yeah, I, I don't know how, I wonder how many Europeans will go. Monica, will you go to the Indian Triennale? Mm. Elaine, um, Shamai and, um, uh, and others, they invited me and I had uh, always to say, I have to wait or what is happening with my husband. So it's, if okay. it's going well, I'm thinking about it, but uh, I cannot say it today. Everything looks fine. Every um, when when we go anytime for the doctors, everything is fine. But still, I'm not uh, in a quiet mood to to make plans for 2024. Yeah, it's just yeah. A question. But um, to go back problem. to this. Oh, I'm sorry, Monica. I thought you were done. No, no. I apologize. It's okay, I'm done. So. so this, but this, this thing that uh, Adil is doing is like kind of a little side event, you know, he's not, there's no big jewelry, there's no big sponsors, he's not doing it with the city, he's not doing it with the university, he's doing yeah. it you know, kind of as almost a favor to IST members who managed to get their work there. 
that to me is, you know, I, I think Lee's pointed out some of the issues with that and I, I, it's hard to argue those, but my worry is that we're giving this sort of carte blanche to, uh, to the people at JCU and I've not always had uh, what I would consider ethical um, relationships with them. I, you know, I've seen things happen at that place that, you know, make me mm -hmm. pause. Mm -hmm. And um, I just think that, it, and, and it could be that there's other sorts of things. I mean, right now, and I, I helped to nominate, uh, I wrote one of the letters for an organization that's part of JCU, but it's part of the design college, not the ceramics college that has an agreement with Shang Yu which is another city in China. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, I could see foresee that they might be doing some of this kind of thing at some point, and they may, they may be um, IEC members fairly soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I guess my thing is that we, it talks about logo, but I think we need to have a separate item that talks about, and maybe sponsorship's not the correct word. Maybe it's a partnership that we're talking about where we partner. Uh -huh where we, we play a bigger role, where some mm -hmm. of our members are paid perhaps, or, I mean, I, I, again, I don't have all the answers to this. I just think we need to um, have an addendum to, to this that isn't just about the logo, because to me, it's a bigger issue than just using the logo. Should I go back to the uh, internal rule? Yeah, let's do that. We can look at that and see what else we need to do to flesh that out a little bit. See, it always... Okay, so it's it's this paragraph that um, that is a question, right? Well, I have no no. Well, I think I don't think that's bad. Like I think that that that's okay. Um, as I'm looking for something that would have a different heading that might say partner sp partnerships or, or 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 maybe a C that says uh, going beyond just the use of the logo in a more, uh, in a partnership of some kind. And I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure the right words or how to describe this, but you know, that's, a, there's quite a few of our people, council people or former council people and some members right now that are wrapped up and have administrative roles in this. And so mm -hmm. it, it goes beyond just, you know, just using a logo. So uh, I think one issue it, with, with paragraph B is who decides our relationship when a logo is approved? It should um, be the whole council, correct? Right, yeah, Monica? It should be the council. Yes, correct, yeah. for sure. Yeah. And so we have to, for the translation, we have to check what is the meaning of sponsorship and uh, support or partnership or mm. in German, Unterstützung or, or Krista's or, nodding. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm also, I also have my questions. The word sponsor is not, uh, it's not uh, the real, a very good um, term for this. Yes, I, I agree with you, uh, Anna. Yes, that maybe this has another sense, it should have another sense. Yes, maybe you can correct that for the future times. I don't know. Yeah, because as I see, uh, they are interested in an ongoing um, partnership or something like that. Yeah. So, and also there is, oh, is this an alliance? I, I, I only, I don't know, don't know the word in English, alliance. Do you know what this is? Oh, alliance. an alliance. Yeah. Alliance. Yeah. Yes, oh, alliance. Good word. There are yeah. also, could be possible between NGOs and, and, and also, but then this is also different again than um, a partnership. So, but this has first to be uh, discussed, yes, before and, and, and afterwards uh, to, to, to put these things into the internal rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I and, and all council word. members should know about that. What's a partnership? What's an alliance? Or what is a sponsorship? And what is it should be very transparent? Yes, otherwise uh, there cannot be done decisions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I think I think this definitely needs 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 more meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Of course. And uh, uh, one of the main things I think that would be to make sure that the entire council, uh, you know, uh, approves this, not just 
the executive as you have mm. worked towards having that happen. Um, yeah. But I think we do need to maybe more better clarify the um, what, you know, what's a sponsorship, what's an alliance. I like that. That's a good word, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, but there are different alliance, partnership, right, exactly. or I think so. So, yeah, mm -hmm. the sponsorship what, what, or partner, they could be, a, you know, it, it could be more of a partnership in this yeah. situation where we kind of partner with them. Um so there that you're right. I think maybe first the first step would be to define those and then work out the yeah. procedure mm -hmm. for, for those. Yeah. yeah. What are some other good words that um support? Support. Support is yes. Mm -hmm. Uh and partner, partnership, I guess, would be a word I would put in throw in there. Yeah. Uh, well, may, maybe maybe we could turn this around and and define for ourselves, and maybe this is where you're headed, the kinds of things we are willing to do. We're willing to be a sponsor. We're willing to be a partner. Um, and then we define what that is. And they can pick what they want if they want. Yeah, I like that, Lee. Yeah. And also we can I like specify. That. I like the idea of specifying that there's at least a fee, which we can, mm. what do you call it, um, forgive. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. at the very least, it takes office time. And so a very minimal fee would be at least $100 if it's just simple, you know. And that yeah. may also scare off a few people who are just looking for collecting names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think this, the term sponsorship, we should, in brackets, we should say always with money. Because as the academy cannot sponsor someone, a bank. Or possible donation, yeah, right. or can yeah. for me in Germany sponsorship is yeah. money. Yeah, I, I I would think that sponsors because I've been thinking through a little bit of this. Sponsors they would give funds. They would give funds, and there are different. Activity. But there's different. other ways to do that too, because there's in kind, right? So they could mm -hmm. be giving in a different way so that gets a little trickier krista was that you did you have a comment yes that's what i wanted to say what you said now yes so <laughs> it's it's okay yeah okay all right yeah so that that would be and then when i think of um more of a partner it's like you kind of split that and if it's in kind there's in kind on both sides if it's money it's money on both sides mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, it, yeah. and, it, and it might have more of a, a financial because some of this might not require now, you know, some of those listed on that poster are they're not not for profits. I mean, they're they're not NGOs. So some so that's why I came in. <laughs> that's why I came in. And you know, I alliances are more in 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 the economical ways, yes. But uh, as I saw it also on the on on on, on this. Uh, what would I say? This sheet of paper. I don't know the uh, the poster. Yes. I yeah. saw it. So maybe this is uh, a term we could also use for that. But they would understand. Okay, that, I think that's mm -hmm. great. Okay. But I will and, check the, 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 I will check in my books in the, this, the, the definition of uh, alliances. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, give you the, the, an idea um, about that. That'd be great. Thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm also uh, going the European or German way to think. Uh, if the academy is um, having money from the members, so is these members is not for use in kind of a sponsorship where money no. is involved. So we can only have a partnership, we can be supporting or we have an alliance, mm -hmm. but we cannot support giving money to another event because this, therefore right. the members are not paying. So we, if we have a fundraising and we get a fund, for special things, we can use this money from this fund. Yes, sponsor okay. something, but uh, this has to be a real uh, a, a definition and a clarification of this that we are out of this problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, these are all. I agree with Monica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is too strict, no. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, that's right. Yes, but normally the members they will argue about that when they hear that that we give sponsorship money from our member um, from our membership. Yeah, that's not correct. Yeah, 
Now, ben, I, 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 I was asking yeah. about this uh, fundraising. Yes, are there any plans doing that in the next years? The Is there somebody? Yeah. Yeah, well, um, that's what Shamaya is working on right now. Mm -hmm. where, um, oh, fine. Potential for uh, donation of pieces from members that would be sold online with mm -hmm. the um, purchaser paying shipping costs. Mm -hmm. um, so I hear there, there's a, a group, a committee working on that. Yeah, and yeah, but. The, but to ask but Ben, this is not the fundraising I meant. <laughs> so we asked Ben if he could do that, but he yes. wants to an extra job, and that would be great if we can uh, do the have the decision if he is our managing director. Managing director, I think, I think he is he's very good for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's from so Switzerland, and he knows all, all to how to do that. Yes, mm -hmm. am yes. I right? Yes. And okay. if he has more hours and gets more money, he has time also to write the all the paragraphs and to read and to, to get some um, fundraising done very quickly because he has experience with that. Yes, I think so. so. You, yes. Can we go back? To, oh, can we get so back in to this? Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Only, we only have about 10, 15 more minutes to discuss this. Okay. And I'd like okay. us to at least figure out what we're going to do next. So that we don't leave this hanging from today, okay? Mm -hmm. um, well, what if you know? What if um, maybe Anna, you and I, and um, Krista work on this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to get. Would some you of be the willing definition. to do that, Krista? Yeah. That would that would be great. Yeah. And we can define some of them, and then potentially add another um, letter, like C, maybe C as Anna suggested. C. Yeah to yeah. the uh, and then we don't have to spend this time working as a separate committee yeah i think that yes. would be great so yeah i so do not have your email address anna uh maybe you can share I'm it to put uh, it in the chat yes oh, okay can't, thank you can't you. get the chat or can you get the chat with your phone okay yes i try it yes okay let's try it but i have to All right. So, we okay, need so okay, just to check. Okay, thank you. Good, good. Yeah, so we do need to see, and it needs to clarify, you know, what these different types of relationships yeah. are. Um, and then uh, that change in the logo thing that uh, Lee was suggesting that we we be maybe be a little. We could say something like one hundred to five hundred. So if it's another not for profit, we could be more generous and say, oh, we just mm -hmm. need hundred. But if it's mm -hmm. someone like the Jingdezhen city, the city of Jingdezhen, that should be 500. I'm sorry. They have the mm -hmm. money. Yeah. They have lots of money. Yeah. And it's a profit. And so I think it would be good to have a bracket, you know, and then it could be yeah. more discretionary of the council to decide whether it be a hundred dollars. If it's, if it is one of the, the bottom lines to all of this that I want everybody to realize that they kept talking about this as us being an academic institution. We are mm. not an academic institution. No. And they right. removed so, that terminology, as you saw. They took that out. We are no longer an academic um, whatever consultant or whatever. But, well, I'll work on uh, finding the definitions of these and any other terms that you think of. And then okay. maybe Anna and I and Krista will get on. Um, Finalize that for next Talk time. about that. Yeah. I just think we need to go beyond just logo use. Um, yeah. I mean, there's lots of ethical things that also happen here with, you know, who's, who is a, you know, a, a president and, and takes a certain amount of money or whatever. But I think we, you know, if we could, I think we're, that, but that's going to be too hard to kind of grapple with at this point in time. So we'll just um, try to work on getting a little bit a clearer, uh, mm -hmm. a clear procedure. You know, so we know that this goes to the whole council, and secondly, that um, that we know whether we're doing a sponsorship or a partnership or whatever, and have it really clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, good. Okay. Um. Oh, Lee, hold on, Lee. You have a question? What Elaine gets set up? Yeah. Um. Just quickly. Um. The work. Those things that I had been working on. 
uh, as I looked over that list again, a lot of them have been picked up as we have worked through the various other things. Um, and the only thing that's left over is, and it's still being considered, is, you know, uh, uh, sorry, uh, and maybe it's already covered, how long the terms of the council are, how long the term of the uh, UNESCO uh, member is, um, and, and so forth and so on. There's not a lot left um, there, just to let you know, that I think. Well, um, why don't you just make that clear then? Then, if honestly, I think that what you just said, we still need that would be a, a good topic of conversation as well. So I don't think we can assume that that's taken care of with the other stuff. But okay. I, I think that's why Elaine said to go back and, and look, see, because some of that stuff has been, has been, but not what you just recently talked about. So we probably yeah, want yeah. to look more. Clarification. Can I can I ask a quick question though? Did sure. did yeah. in yeah. Elaine in your work and I can go back and look at it. Um, you you specified or began to specify um, the terms of the council, right? Um, no. Oh, okay. No, I have not worked on that. Okay. Well, um, that, I think that one would be good to have, don't yeah. you, Elaine? I yep. think we need to. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Now, I, I was so good about putting all these documents together. And uh, uh, let's see, I need to move this down. Um, so under the governance, This, these are our documents for now, but I had these in two. Okay, here, here's what I wanted to show you. So um, action item 4C3 was approved. I just wanted to show you these. This is what we, we proposed these changes mm -hmm. and those were approved. Right, yay, and, progress. Um, yeah, and it was Torbjorn who made the who suggested that we we do this, and um, it was it was approved. Good. Motion passed. Um, so that's done. And then um, this one was also approved. I wish I could get rid of that. I've tried reinstalling, and none of it. So the, the presidential, um, so that there is, will be now the, and this one should have gone out, this went out to, um, in the last bulletin, which has to be done six months ahead of, or three months ahead of time, and then the GA can vote on it. Okay, so we'll so, be voting on this in Portugal. That's basically what the- Right, or, or possibly before. Okay doesn't have to be in person. So oh, our, um, our work there was, was good. So um, the pending revisions, and this is, is stuff that we already have looked at. So I don't know that it, that it needs anything now, but this uh, this was we presented it before, and um, I was asked to break it into three different action item uh, forms. So um, this is the composition of the executive, and their objection was our crossing out the secretary general, even though we don't have one they objected to us taking it out. So I don't know how you feel about that. If, if we want to just put in, leave it in and add in if applicable. What is it about this group that has ties to the secretary well, general when it really, it was Madam Coolery who was the secretary general. And when she died, the whole thing just stopped. I know. Right. I know. What are it's what is why are they like holding on to this? I would then maybe um like to change it 
to I think uh, I think the secretary sorry the secretary general um I think it's not good to to, to put them out because it has a special role yes and she knows a lot of the um we don't academy have one. Also. we don't have huh? one we haven't had one since madam after madam coolery died we haven't had one that was not, what, not years anyone? Ago? No, it's because she was the head of the museum. So she had a special role and they gave her that. Uh -huh. And basically she ran the show. Let's face it. She ran the show. So I would uh -huh. say that we okay. that we that we changed that to um executive director. Yeah. That makes okay. more sense. Yes. 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 Monica, you have your hand up. Um yes, I I, I see in the in the middle um column. President Emeritus, and on the right side, which is, which is the final uh, text, President Emeritus in an advisory role. But why should we have the, uh, the President Emeritus in that role if he is asked by the council or by the managing director or president or vice presidents um, to, um, to help with something, it's okay, but he has not to be in every meeting. So we had a well, no, it says that it says that uh, Monica it says that uh, that's upon the request of the president and it's yeah. an advisory role only yeah no vote the... they do not have a vote and but Monica it, if you remember in, if you remember in our meeting three vice presidents in our council meeting Monica this was discussed and um, it was only because the description of the president emeritus is under the column uh, is under um article eight okay of like eight f or g something like that um but it doesn't put him or her on the executive council but but it's under executive council on in the articles so all we were doing was saying that okay, okay. We initially we we said we either eliminate him or her from the executive council, and the the council objected to that. So we put and and so here we were just putting it in so that the president emeritus could be there as because they're already included but not included in this A, if that makes sense. And it is upon the president's request. Um, we don't have a president emeritus right now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we still we still have. Topian always says Jack Kaufman is still emeritus. Yeah. He resigned. Uh, but yeah, he resigned. He, resigned. But, uh, uh, he told that on the General Assembly in Geneva, Monica, that uh, he yeah. has resigned. Is that not true? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We do not right now have a president emeritus because he resigned as president emeritus at and the Lee, end of the council meeting. He had his hand up, so I was. Yeah, D so didn't he also so. resign from the academy? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, second comment, um, uh, uh, Elaine. I think maybe the next time the council meets, um, and people say, "Oh no, we need to keep uh, this title." What is it called again? Secretary General. Yeah. Secretary General, oh, you need to ask people to please write, send you what they think the Secretary General's role is. Okay. Put it on them. Yeah. yeah. What does he do or she or they? Yeah. No, I, I think that's a good question. Yeah. And why have why have we lived for 20? Was it when did Madame Coolery finally die? It was like 20 years ago, I think. Yeah. I Long never met. I, I mean, I, maybe I, they'll come up with I a good reason period of time when she was secretary general but it was really brief and then yeah, she was and maybe, gone they maybe and they'll have a good reason yeah well, yeah and and we could suggest in here that um that this say um or or the executive director yeah, I would agree on that. Yes, because um, it's necessary to keep on uh, going with this discussion. Yes, or because I think this is would be very great if IC is getting a general director. Yeah. yeah. Or managing director. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I honestly just think it should be taken off. But if it's going to be a real bone of contention and we can't move on, you know, in terms of right. getting clarity here, yeah. I mean, we could just leave it there and see yeah. if somebody fills it at some point. But I, I just, it just seems so silly to me to hold on. It's like, you know, holding on to some old, yeah, or another, you know, that doesn't exist anymore. But uh, if we need to do something to keep it, keep this, uh, to move it, move some of this <laughs> other stuff along, yeah. Um, that can exactly. be all removed at some point. Lee's laughing. Why? <laughs> Why? Make the, the, the woman who used to be the. Madam Coolery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's make her um, the Emeritus. secretary general. <laughs> Emeritus. Yeah. Emeritus or something. Yeah. She's dead. I know. <laughs> she died like long time. She it doesn't say you have to be died. alive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. now we're getting silly. Okay. <laughs> so well, if we can't one, laugh. <laughs> that one will go back to the uh, council. Okay. And what what I'm asking is, and this was mentioned at the last when when it came up before, is that um, it be sent out three weeks prior to any vote. So. Um, this is just um, what we did on the member, um, honorary member. And I can't seem to get these two to go together, but this is all stuff that we previously agreed to. Yeah, that's done. Yeah. And um, uh, so none of this has been acted on because they wanted me to split all of these into separate, um, separate ones. And then this is a similar. I did object to the fact that the um, that one of our, um, I think it was four C three didn't end up going in the bulletin and it should have. So I've emailed the office about that something because the the membership needs to be notified of it. Can that be put in the uh, newsletter, perhaps? Um, possibly, or it could just be a full member email. Okay. On, on, and I think, you know, that was a 60 page bulletin, I know, which that was to me ridiculous. is way too long. And, right. and then I, I have suggested again, I suggested it before that the table of contents be linked With to the, the article. Yeah, so definitely. you don't have to scroll through 60 pages to find what you want. Um, whether that can happen or not, I don't know. And then again, these are things that we um, we've already approved, and this will go separately now to the council. Okay, this so is we've, we've made some we've made some progress. We have, hey. and, yeah. you know, and yeah. and it was it was at that meeting where they we these came that they went out two weeks ahead or three weeks ahead of the council meeting. And uh, one of the council members said, oh, I need time to, well, you had time. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> it's just unfortunate that, so I'm hoping that if they're sent out separately, that people will actually read them. <laughs> mm. Yeah, really. Um, yeah, yeah. So let me see if there were any other documents here in um, in this. Okay, we looked at that. I showed you the minutes. That's my articles, clarification. I think that's all. You're good. I think that's all I have. So for our next meeting, then Lee will look at uh, the terms of the council. That seems to be the bottom line with the document that you you have, right? Right, right. And, yeah. then, well, and then we have Lynn and Yvonne working on uh, the bulletin and the newsletter, content, process, et cetera. So those, those two, and then hopefully we'll have this, and this should be a quick and easy, you know, we're just looking at one, that one little section regarding uh, sponsorship or whatever we end up calling it. Um, yeah. Can, yeah. We can hopefully wind up a lot of those things at our next meeting. Well, and then there was one other thing that is really controversial that I mentioned to Anna, and she asked that I, I show you this. Um, but this was after the vote that the council be the ones to um, make decisions. And this was sent out to all 
uh, council members and we were asked to shoot. Why, why won't it move? We were asked to um, vote on this. Um, these are rules of com positive communication that were put together by Anya and somebody. Uh, and I agree with all of this that we should be doing all of this. Um, however, um, can you read this, Krista? Yes, I just did that. Uh, make it a little bit larger. It's okay. better now. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Now they're here. They're saying the general secretary, which we don't have. Mm hmm. If appointed, if use of a neutral observer, a third party who is acknowledged and unanimously by all council members will participate in the meetings and interject in the event of problematic or troublesome behavior in order to ensure respect and compliance. Members who do not respect the rules for positive communication will be notified by the arbitrator and by the president. After several warnings, the arbitrator with the president have the power to exclude temporarily the concerned council members from the discussions until the president decides to reintegrate him, her, them. To exclude temporarily the concerned council members from his concerned commissions until the president decides to reintegrate him or her. Um, if I have a conflict of interest with any motion, I shall declare that conflict before to the president. I shall abstain from the vote. Please note that a conflict of interest, that's up for another whole document. I don't even know why it's in here. But obviously we disagreed and we this we've not heard any more about this, but we disagreed with this power given to the president. This is like Charlie McCarthyism. I mean, what what is this? Yeah. So to my knowledge, this was not approved. And, and uh, I don't know, Monica, can you add to that? Do you know? You're on mute. Oh, we can't hear you, Monica. Monica, mute. Thank you. I think the whole council um, uh, refused to, to sign a document like that. It was just, it was embarrassing to read that. And I, I the conflict of interest, it's a good mirror to hold it in front of some of the executives. <laughs> just I know the see. irony of it all, right? Oh, this yeah. is so crazy. But how can you, when you are sitting on a bomb, because the council is almost exploding about this domination and hierarchic structure. So why can you just squeeze the screw a bit deeper? So this is crazy. That's yeah. Nuts. I'd never sign anything like this. No, no way. No. For, even for my employer, I would have to say I'm not no. going to sign. And, and believe no. me, I, I, I live in a state. Now I'm retired, but the, our governor would have to sign <laughs> something like that. He's a fascist. We have a fascist governor. This is yeah. fascism. This is fascism. <laughs> yeah. No, this is not oh. possible. No. Who was working on this paper? Um, uh, oh, I think it, it was, was Anya, Anya, Anya and Gabriella. That's right. Oh, no. Gabriella is the legal advisor. Okay. Um, no, this this is I I don't agree on that. No. Sorry. No. That's not possible. Is there anything we can do to make this clear that you know we don't think feel that this is? I mean, this wouldn't fly in the U.S. They, no way. This is not no way. Let me tell you. Not yet, anyway. I mean, depending yeah. on who becomes our president next, but um, this would not, I mean, I, you know, we have to sign all kinds of things. I worked for the state of Florida, so I had to sign all kinds of papers about that, but never anything that would, would gag. This is a gag order. It is. Can we use it yeah. on Trump? I mean, yeah. it's, it, it, I, I totally agree with being friendly, respectful. Yes, and, yes. Et and that, but that's can, all. You, that, you yeah. need nothing. You need not more. No, no you don't. But, but when I signed a contract in Germany, I have always a, an, an article to sign. Be, care, be being careful with my budget. Always working in my budget to work for the institution openly yeah. tell them also about my conflicts of interest and this is this uh, paragraph conflict of interest it's just 
to to hold us in the council uh, on the slow button. So I think I cannot believe that Torbjörn was inventing such a procedure himself. He's such a kind person. And I yes. don't know, Anya, Anya is a teacher. And I had bad experiences in the last meeting when she was really schooling. Shh, 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 be quiet. No, no. She was like, we were pupils in her Stephanie class. Stephanie does that too. Stephanie did that at the, at yeah. the assembly. Yeah. Where they were, she was telling everybody that we were bad or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Elaine, do you think, because um, I've been, you know, the conflict of interest thing that we do currently have and, you know, all our rules and bylaws, et cetera, um, doesn't seem strong enough. Uh, mm -hmm. And so maybe maybe we should revisit. I mean, I think we want to get make sure these three things we have floating for next time get done or at least a couple of them before we take anything new on. Yeah. But I think we need to look at the uh, the ethics and and we could find out. I mean, I you know, I don't have a problem. I mean, I have to sign something regarding ethics too. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not to say that I I don't. We have an office now uh, that when they found out I was doing work for China, I had to have a special interview. Mm. <laughs> and, mm. and so there's a lot of this going on, but you know, it, it's it's not like what this is which is that form and you're supposed to sign off on it i just you know yeah. it's, it's just yeah. not right yeah well i have a copy of the the conflict of interest sorry sorry lee go ahead no no i sorry okay yeah. um and i can send that out yeah so we could start to think about that and then once we get one or two of these others that we're hoping to wind up next time we could i think we should pick that up and maybe we can start to Look at what other non for profits use for a conflict of interest. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I will check that. I will check well, that. Well, if we all just look at it for a Good. couple of weeks, yeah. Yeah. Good. what they use Thank for a conflict, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. Conflict of That's interest. Great. I think we can strengthen the, you know, how people behave and all that kind of stuff without it be sounding like a fascist document. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm surprised it doesn't say at the bottom Mussolini or something, you know, I mean, it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 Elena, I have a question. See? Yeah. yeah. It, it, so this document, this one that Anna loves so much, um, <laughs> th this was sent out to all the council members to sign? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, and oh it, my God. It, it wasn't even oh, discussed no. at the no. council meeting? Didn't it discuss just came it or out. approve it or anything? And then oh, they my God. To sign it. Oh, no. Rip, rip. Yep, right. <laughs> And, Who do you think and, you are, and, Pelosi? Yeah. <laughs> and in um, um, and then there was a council meeting after this came out, and it did not come up on the agenda. Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay. So that's it it's was, okay. Uh, yeah. But I do it was uh, it was invented. This document was invented in the communication uh, commission, and this mm. is all strange because when you try to um, improve the communication and to, to find rules about a better communication, then you send out such a paper and you, you it's, it's just, it's like a boomerang. It's coming back yeah. to you. It's and um, I also, I, I think maybe um, if the former council group would have been checked or uh, controlled about their behavior, so they had to take their hats, all of them. So because the budget was not in order, the communication was a mess, and uh, the information to the council members was almost none. So this is not a good communication. And from no. that, from, from to correct such a behavior, nothing shows up in a document in such a carta or what, what they call it, charter papers. So this is so crazy. This is um, really naive to send it yeah. out to adults like us. We are freelancers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, come volunteers not getting paid. I mean, it's crazy. Um, yeah. well, I'm curious, I have a question uh, for the council members. Um, and I hate to use this because I get, you know, whenever I say this to, to people that are, aren't from the US, they always get mad at me. We don't want to be in SICA. I don't want the ISC to be in SICA. I don't need to belong to two NSICAs. All right. That's no. my point. <laughs> However, and SICA, and, and I've done this for my department when I was director of, of a couple of different departments, is that there would be these, I hate to call them training, we would call them retreats, but they mm -hmm. would, they would include training, it would, it would deal, it could, you could have somebody that's an expert come and meet with everybody regarding those <laughs> issues, 
but you do it in a collegial way and away from whatever you're working on we usually would go we have this place that's out in the woods that our forestry department has we'd have the, we'd have it out there so we kind of you know break away from everything we'd have an expert that was good at whatever it was that we wanted to see happen improve or happen and and I'm, I, it seems to me that there needs to be some kind of intervention at this point in time to, to so get the council to so are you talking well, about um, board training or are you talking about a retreat, planning well, retreat? Board, board training, I, I, I like to call it a retreat because it can be, it can cover all those things and it's less threatening <laughs> than, uh, you know, than that. So if, if it were a retreat and it dealt with things like communication, planning, you know, what going forward, I mean- is there any conversation about a strategic plan? Where does where does the you know the IAC see itself in 5, 10, 15, yeah. 20 years? I don't, you know, I mostly because I've been involved in organizations and departments where we had to do these things. We had to have a strategic yeah. plan. We had to yeah. get training. Um, you know, we had to, there's all kinds of new training even out these days. So uh, yeah. it seems to me that the board needs some help. Every yes. board needs help. No, nope. you know, there's yeah. always conflict. It's people, you know. Right. And as you said, Monica, we're all, you know, you're all just freelancers, basically. Um, that uh, there maybe there needs to be some sort of a, a um, planning, training, whatever you want to call it. I like, I just like the word retreat, you know, because you kind of go away somewhere. But yeah, it, but it implies it more implies the planning than. But no, a retreat is good. Um, and board but just training. Some, something that uh, involves uh, strategic planning and in light of that, how people communicate with each other. I mean, I think mm -hmm. you can kind of cobble all this stuff together, but it, it seems like some there needs to be an intervention. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we call it a coach, a coach or moderator. Yeah, just that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Questions. Yeah. You need a board. Is a question there's many it's people out there that do this sort of thing that make you know make good money do you know they charge a little something it'd be worth it uh you mm -hmm. could do it on zoom it'd be nice in person but obviously that's not going to happen but you know I, I just think that this council has got problems that needs some intervention krista so uh you're talking about a uh, very lovely thematic um uh, when I was vice president at the Crystal House, we had also these communication problems because the members and everything, it, it was not correct. Yes, it was, there were so many different people, but we started to do really strategic plans. Yes, uh, recovering all the whole organization. And mm -hmm. I recommend it to you. And I, mm -hmm. we really, after eight years, we had very, very good results and the organization is running very well now. Yeah. And yeah. if you remember one of the first meetings, I gave you an, uh, a website and a, a link to a nonprofit um, organization in Switzerland who giving uh, advice without uh, taking money Right. Uh, and they are really academic, um, uh, proved people. They have, they are retired, and they give and they do strategic plans with right. not for profits. This could really be a great um, mm. organization for ISC. Yes, I, I don't know. know. I yeah. asked Lynn uh, that if she will check that, but I never asked her if she if they did if they did it. Uh, sorry, may I speak in German now to Monica to yeah. to give her a short um, instruction on that. Monica, das ist wirklich eine interessante uh, Organisation. Über das würde ich gerne mal mit dir auch sprechen und das könnten wir gerne telefonisch machen. Ist das okay? Sehr gerne, yeah. sehr gerne. So I agree cool with, with, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I have, I do not have the address, or do they have website also that I can? They look? have a website. Yes, I will give it to you. Yeah. Okay. I think it's worth. So I mean, we can suggest it. You know, I yes. could see where uh -huh. some people might take it I as know. a result or not like it, but you know, every organization does this, or well, everybody's required. And now that we do have these I, conditions, you know, we it can make sense. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think, okay, I, mean, I know we're almost out of time, but um, in, in going back to our conversation about that document that was given us about behavior, 
I think that we do need to look at adding a, an article on uh, the process for removing a council member and removing the president. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Lee, you're working on terms of the council. Right. Do you want to think about maybe rough out some stuff that also deals with if you certainly if before your term is over, certain issues happen, what happens to you? How do you remove a council member? What does the council member have to do to be removed? And uh, and the president should be included in that. I agree. Okay. And both of them, because they are elected by the membership, have to be removed by the membership. It cannot be done by right. um, just right. by the council or no. whatever. It has to be. So it has to be something really serious right. in order right. to do that. Yeah. Right. And then okay. um, we're running out of time, but Anna, we need the next meeting. I, I was looking at the calendar and, and it was, uh, if we do it, you know, about this time of the, the month, it would be the 17th, Sunday, the 17th. Okay. Uh, I'll be in Japan. Well, I'll, I'll be in I'm Romania. sorry. <laughs> about the 23rd. I'll be in Japan. 24th. You'll still be uh, there. Can, can you Zoom us from Japan? Yeah, um, uh, it's, uh, let me think, hold on. It'd be the middle of the night. Oh, well, we could change the time. Well, or uh, I could do the 10th. Is that too soon? Um, I'll be driving home. I'll be I'll be on the road. OK, and I'm I'm having surgery on the 28th and I should be in pretty good shape by the 10th. But I did not try not to make too many commitments that week after week or two. After. I am also, I'm also on holidays. I'm so funeral, so. All right, so, so how about so, how about October? No, no we wanted to. Right. We need. I think we need to do one in September. What we could do is wait on uh, Lee's uh, papers that he's doing on okay. the, the terms, and we could work on the bulletin. We still have the bulletin, and we still sure. have that sponsorship thing, so we could work on those next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and then the week that month following in October, when Lee's back, then we could do the uh, council terms. Yeah, and but we can change am, the time. I can get up very early or uh, wait until midnight or later if the time timing in Japan is a problem. Uh, let's see. Japan is 16 hours ahead of where I am. So 10 oh, o'clock yeah, in the I morning can it's from here. It would just is be like on. three o'clock in the evening, in the middle of the night. Yeah. Now, let's do this. If this works, we, we already have those other couple things that we need to do. Okay. Yeah, sure. we'll just um, um, yeah. And we'll just we'll just wait on on what Lee's working on. So okay. that I would like him to be there. Well, obviously, when we do this, so I I think. But we have those other two items, and that should keep us busy for the next meeting. And okay. we'll keep the same time. Yeah, I think this is this seems to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, work except when there's a car accident or traffic or something, right. <laughs> and that's be that doesn't have anything to do with the time. So. Kristen had a comment or had her hand up. Oh yeah, Kristen, yes, sorry. I am. I am. I am in Romania from um, 10th September until the 1st October. I will attend the, the meeting. Yes, but in the traveling time, uh, the things we say that I, we will we will work together have to be in 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 advance. Yes, before I go away, please. Okay. okay. Oh, all right. Here for the other thing. Yeah. yeah. Actually, well, yeah. I would. I, my surgery is the twenty eighth. So if we could move something along in the next couple of weeks, I that would be okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because in Romania, I I don't take my 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 um. I also will uh, join you as on my mobile. I I won't take my any computer or something like yeah. that with me. Yeah. I love no, it that I, you were here today. Yeah, I really. It's great to have you. Um, yes. the, and we're, we're looking at is a very short thing and should not take us very long to work through that. No, so. no, of course. Yeah. No, first of all, I give you the, the, the descriptions Definition. of the terms. Yes. And so and this, we'll is, this, this could be our start. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. good. Excellent. Thanks for all being right. here. Thanks, yeah. Lee. Thanks, Monica. I really appreciate your being here. Uh, and uh, have fun in Japan, Lee. <laughs> I will. I will. I'm working in Japan. Where are you also, going to in Japan? Uh, up in Awamori, up in the northern part of Honshu. Awamori, yes. Yeah, it's beautiful Very up nice. there. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully it won't be hot and humid anymore. And maybe not. When are you going? I leave on the uh, 